So in the previous video, we uh, formatted the times here. And now in this video, we want to calculate the duration and format that as well. So first of all, let's calculate that. So that's equal and minus start. And then I just fill it to the remaining cells. Now, what's the difference between duration and those two? Those two are, t are, are, are points in time. That means a point in time is, it has certain limits. For instance, hours. Hours can go up to 23 hours. And then after 23.59, what happens? You go back to zero and it starts all over again. Same thing with minutes. You go up to 59 minutes and then you don't have 60 minutes. You have zero and it starts all over again. Ditto for seconds. Now with durations, it's a totally different ball game. I mean, you could easily work for 120 minutes. You could easily go on a trip for 30 hours. Now, how would you display that? Now, if you see, uh, let, let me let me let me show you something. Let's select that. Let me go format cells. Now, let me say I want to display that duration in minutes and seconds. So, okay, using the formats from last time, M double S. First one looks okay. Second one looks okay. Third one doesn't look very okay because 8.30 till 9.45, I'm expecting here something like more than an hour, something like 75 minutes, yet I only get 15 minutes. The same thing here. Why is that? Because 75 minutes is 60 plus 15. So what it did, it went up to 60, uh, so sorry, to 59, broke down to zero and started counting again. That's why I'm only getting 15 instead of 75. Same thing here. Actually, I should be having 90, but I'm only getting 30. So in order to avoid that, what you have to do is format cells is not M double S. You have to use square brackets around the M. Those square brackets avoid the M from turning at zero once it reaches 60. Now with those double brackets, M can have any value above 60, no problem. Look, look at the difference now. Now you see, now 75, now you get 90 minutes, no problem. And you, no way could you have 1290. No way, that's, that doesn't make sense. That's why, that's why here in uh, durations, you can have, uh, you can exceed those limits set in, in points in time. And uh, the way you exceed those limits is using square brackets. Same thing if you want to display those times in seconds, no problem. Go to cells, instead of using, and remember, you only use the brackets for the first term, not for the second one. So if I want to display the time in seconds, There you go. That's that's how many seconds there is between 8 and 8.15. And as you see, we've been now playing around. We've changed those times into minutes first and now into seconds. I can change those times back into hours. And what you see, I'm only changing the format. I'm not changing the formula. You know, when you calculate by hand and somebody asks you, okay, uh, how many minutes between 8.15 and 8? You say, okay, 8.15 minus 8, 15 minutes. And if somebody says, okay, how many hours is that? So you have to 8.15 minus 8 is 15 minutes and divide that by 60. So you get like quarter of an hour and so on. In Excel, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is just change the format and you already have the, the, the time in the required format. So now we've got it in hours, and if I want it back in minutes, all I have to do is change the format back to square bracket m dot ss. Okay? I don't, I don't change the calculation over here. Why is that? Because Excel doesn't really use these times, what we see here. What Excel uses are uh, numbers, decimal numbers that we don't see. And I'm going to show you those numbers. All you have to do is format everything as a number, 
not as a time as a number what we use is a number 0, 0.00 those are the numbers that Excel uses 0 0.33 that is 8 o'clock 8 o'clock uh, 1 is a whole day that's 24 hours 8 o'clock is a third of a day so that's 0 0.33 0 0.34 that's 8.15 and the difference is that that's how Excel works. It takes the 34, the point 0.34 minus the point 0.33 and it gets a 0 0.01. And it's with those numbers that Excel works. That's why you don't have to change the formula because Excel always uses those numbers. It's just a formatting thing, you know, to display those numbers in hours or minutes or seconds. You see, so if, I, if I'm going to change that to 0 0.5 and that to 0 0.75, if I format that stuff back to hours, I can tell you that's going to be 12 o'clock, that's going to be 1800 hours, or basically 6 p.m., and that's going to be the difference. Let's try it out. Oh, hold on. I'm just going to just format differently. First of all, these two. H. Let's have a double H. No, what happened here? Did I make a mistake? Oh, yeah, I did. H. There you go. You see, let me let me change it back. First of all, we had numbers. Point five, and that's how Excel works. And now, if we want to change back to time. I just change the format. Double H, double M, and there you go. You see, 12 o'clock, 1800. And that 0 0.25, if I format that as, as a, in time, I'll get six hours. And don't forget, when, you, when you're formatting time segments, always the first term gets two square brackets. The terms behind that don't. There you go.